Hey everyone, welcome to the Decorative Den, a look inside my craft room where I share all things crafting, planning, and DIY. My name is Charity and I am so excited you're here. Today's video is kind of a two for one. I am going to start by sharing with you how I made this window dashboard for my fall planner setup. And then afterwards, I'm going to do a quick flip through of my entire fall setup in my A5 disc bound planner. And if you are maybe not interested in seeing the window dashboard and are just here for the planner flip through, I will leave a timestamp in the description so that way you can skip ahead to that part of the video. But yeah, enough talking. Let's get to it. So starting with supplies, the first thing you're going to need is three pieces of cardstock, one for the front of your dashboard, one for the back of your dashboard, and one for your window frames. You're also going to need a piece of acetate and then something to cut with, either a slice tool, a pair of scissors, an X-Acto knife. I'm going to be using all three of these today, um, but you certainly don't need all three of them. I'm also going to be using a pencil and a ruler, and then it's not pictured here, but you will also need some double-sided tape. Now, in addition to all of these supplies, the other thing you're going to need is this window template. So I have this linked in the description below. There is a PDF file that is sized to match the template that I'm using in this video for my A5 dashboard. Um, and I also have the PNG files linked below. So you can resize this template to fit whatever size planner you're working with, or you can load the image files into your cutting software if you have a cutting machine. But all right, so now that we have our supplies, we're going to start by just cutting down the two pieces of paper that we're using for the front and back of the dashboard. And I'm just trimming these with my slice tool using some guidelines that I had made ahead of time. Next, I'm going to grab my ruler and on the back side of each piece of paper, I am going to find the center of each edge and place a small mark. I'm then going to connect these marks so that I have a horizontal line and a vertical line that cross in the center. And I'm gonna do this with each piece of paper. And this is just going to ensure that my window cutout will be in the center of each piece of paper and will be even on on both the front and back side of my dashboard. I'm then going to grab the cutout template and I'm going to line up these little black marks on the template with the lines that I just made on the back of the piece of paper. And again, this is just making sure that everything is nice and centered. Once that's all lined up, I'll just trace around the template. And now that that's all traced out, the next step is just cutting out the window portion of the dashboard. And for this, you definitely can just use a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife. Um, I decided to use my paper slicer on the three straight edges, just because I knew it would give me a straighter cut and a cleaner cut. And once I'm done cutting out these three straight edges, I'm just going to finish this with a pair of scissors and use that to cut the round edge at the top of my window cutout. Now, once that's done with both pieces of paper, I'm just going to set them aside and focus on making the window frame. So first I'm just deciding what portion of the paper I wanna use for my frame. And then again, I'm gonna flip it over and on the back side, trace out my template. Now for this one, I'm tracing the outside as well as all these little cutouts, since these will be the cutouts where our acetate shows. And I'm gonna trace this twice because I do want a window frame on both the front side and the back side of my finished dashboard. 
Now, once I'm done tracing, I'm just going to take my slice tool again and cut out all of these straight edges with it. Again, just ensuring that my cuts are nice and clean and tidy. I think it makes the finished product look a little bit neater, especially because I definitely always cut crooked when I'm cutting with scissors. <laughs> Now to cut out the little inside portions or the cutouts of this window frame, again, you can certainly just do this with scissors if you'd like. I laid down a scrap piece of paper to protect my table and decided to go through with my X-Acto knife and just slice out these little cutouts. I'm using my ruler as kind of a straight edge guide to make sure that every time I make a slice with my knife, it is as straight as possible. <laughs> And so I'm just going to go through and do that with all six of the rectangular cutout pieces. Now for the top triangular pieces, I'm going to do a very similar thing, taking my X-Acto knife and my ruler and using those to slice the straight edges of all of the little triangle pieces. And then I will finish those up with my scissors and use those to cut around the rounded edge of each little cutout piece. And like I said in the beginning, definitely if you don't want to do all this and you have a cutting machine, I think it would be really helpful and a time saver to have your cutting machine cut out these window frames. Um, but I did want to show you the process that I did to do this by hand since I know not everyone has a cutting machine and it's definitely something that although a little time consuming is simple enough to do on your own. All right, so now that I have all my pieces cut out, it is time to assemble. So I'm just gonna start by putting some double-sided tape on my piece of acetate and using that to secure the acetate to one side of my dashboard. I'm then going to put another layer of double-sided tape down so that way I can adhere the other half of my dashboard to it. And when I'm putting this one down, I'm trying my best to line it up so the cutouts and edges of my dashboard all match up. Now to add the window frame, I'm just gonna use some more double-sided tape and I'm kind of lazy, so all I did was took my pieces of double-sided tape and folded them in half lengthwise so that they would be skinny enough to fit on my window frame piece. However, if you are a perfectionist or if you, you know, have an extra minute to spare, I definitely would suggest cutting the tape in half as opposed to just folding it over. Um, I think the folded tape kind of wrinkled my paper slightly and gave me a less finished look. Whereas if I had just taken the extra minute to cut my tape, I feel like the window frame would have laid a little bit flatter and looked a little bit cleaner in the end but that is totally personal preference of how you wanna do that. And again, when I'm putting this window frame down, I'm just doing my best to line up both pieces so that way everything is in line and looks finished. And there you have it guys, that is the window dashboard. You can now take it and add it to whatever type of planner you use. I obviously use a disc bound planner, so I punched my dashboard and layered it on top of this beautiful picture that I found on Unsplash, which is like a free stock image site. And so I absolutely love how this turned out. I imagine it as a room with a beautiful floral wallpaper and a window that looks out to a beautiful fall forest and then the back of my dashboard has that beautiful brick pattern which is like the outside of my building. <laughs> I love this craft so much. I think this is a great addition to my fall planner and I definitely plan on transitioning this into a winter planner or maybe remaking a window dashboard for future planner setups. But yeah, I hope you liked this part of the video. I am going to move on to a planner flip through of my full setup. So if you are interested in that, just stay tuned. 
All right, so as promised, here is my flip through. And before I jump in, I just wanna kind of let you know that this is going to be a quicker flip through um, and a silent flip through. I'm just gonna play some music and not talk. Um, I know I usually do a full video and talk through everything, but so much of my fall setup this year is the same as last year. I just found that I loved those dashboards and decorative elements so much that I wanted them back in my planner for another fall season. And so because so many things are similar, I will link my video from last year in case you see something you like or you're interested in hearing more about each decorative element, where it's from, and things like that. Um, but for this one, I'm going to stop talking and get some music going. And um, yeah, I will catch you in the next video, guys. 